Hi all, welcome to the Python for Beginners course. My name is Admiral Ghost and uh, in this video we will look at uh, our first flow control statement which is the if statement. So how does it work? It has uh, a syntax which is like this. If certain condition and uh, if this condition is met we execute a code of box which is uh, denoted here by action so we need to write it like if then condition and uh, then we need to put in a colon here to define that uh, we are going to now write an indented block of code and uh, after that we need to start a block of code from uh, the next line and uh, this block of code is uh, indented by four spaces and uh, four spaces we use it by convention but uh, you can use tab or uh, some uh, specific number of uh, spaces as well but uh, it's recommended that you use uh, four spaces and uh, it's a standard so I'll recommend you to use it this way. Make a program to see how it works so that you have a good understanding of uh, how it goes. So, open up a text editor and uh, we are going to define a variable name and this variable name is equal to an empty string and this is how we define an empty string variable in python next we are going to ask user actually let's just do it this way So what I'm trying to do is simply simply take in uh, input from uh, user and uh, this input this will be stored in this variable name and then next we will compare if uh, the user has passed in this particular string as an input so if user type in I love python it will simply go ahead and uh, then we put in four spaces and uh, then we will print yes we did and one more thing if uh, we want to add some extra statements here we can also add them just like print this is the second statement of block so let me maximize it now it looks fine so we have this uh, line which takes input from the user then we have this if statement then we check if uh, this name contains this particular string I love python and uh, make a notice of this thing double equal to and uh, in programming languages even in all programming languages to compare two things we use this double equal to and uh, if we just type in here a single equal to let me make it more clearer now if we type in just single equal to then it will assign name it will assign this string to actually it will assign this string i love python to this variable name and uh, it will also be always be true so 
make notice of this thing that uh, you use double equal to wherever you compare two variables or two strings now let's just save this let's just save it and uh, I'm gonna save it uh, to my desktop let's say actually let's name it if dot py and save it now to execute it just let me minimize now to execute it we will go to our desktop and from here we'll type in python if dot py and this is the file we just created and uh, now it's waiting for our input so if we type in i love python it will go and print in yes we did and this is the second statement of block so what happened is uh, it asked us for the input and then compared this input with the this string i love python and uh, if the condition is true that means if we pass in i love python it will go and execute this let me it will go and execute this indented block of code and uh, what if we want something to be done after this that means what if we want this print statement to be inside of this if statement so if we want it to do this way we can simply start it from the beginning rather than from the indented block so if we do write our program this way then doesn't matter if it is true or not will also will always execute this statement that means if we write in our code this way then uh, doesn't matter this condition is true or false this particular print statement is always going to be executed but if this condition is true if this condition is true then uh, this print statement will be executed so let me save it and run it again now let's just type some random words and you see this print statement yes we did this is not executed because uh, this condition here is not satisfied but this can this print statement is executed and uh, if we type in I love Python then you see both the print statements are executed so that's how it works and uh, I hope you understand it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel at Myrl Ghost and uh, see you in the next video.